I'll give you three seconds to guess where I am. We're in Seoul, Korea. I probably put it in the YouTube title, so it's probably pretty easy to guess. It's been a long time since I've done a POV street photography video, and Seoul is just one of the most cinematic cities I've ever been to during the day and during the night. We have amazing cars. We have amazing landscapes. And I'm, when I say that this is street photography, I just want to clarify, I'm just on the streets shooting photos. I'll be using the Oppo Find N3 here as a six times camera that I think is going to look amazing, especially with these winding streets. Let's, let's just throw on the rig and let's start. I always find this part kind of awkward. Let's clip that <laughs> there instead. All right. Okay, so we're strapped in. Let's switch to this view now. This is actually a folding phone here, which is really nice. So you can actually see when we're shooting that we can actually have a bigger screen, but also if you just flip it like this, then you can get all the photos that you want normally. So I'll kind of be bouncing back and forth the entire time, but we got 10 bit color. We got a six times camera lens on this. And then in the portrait mode, we got the two times and the three times that just looks so good. So why don't we start with this location here? Maybe even just going into the raw mode. Take a new photo. And there's actually one feature here that I really want to test out. So they have this one mode called X-Pan mode, which is actually a feature that you would normally get in a Hasselblad camera because this is a collaboration with Hasselblad and get some amazing shots. So let's just test this out. There's some really nice trees over here that I want to see if I can shoot. Wow, that background looks so cool. I feel like this, oh yeah, that looks good. I love the way the light is reflecting there. Okay, I found one frame that I like here with the three times, and actually maybe even just something. But wide, it's just a little different. Oh, you know what I wanna do? This is gonna be like potentially kind of corny. Here's my like idea. I wanna go to this heart up here with the 0.6 lens and see what this looks like. All right, I think this is gonna look really cool. I love the people holding hands at the top there. That was awesome. Happy with that. Okay, this location is just like amazing. The super wide angle looks really good. I'm just gonna wait until this person kind of goes in the center frame here. Nice. All right. I like that. That was cool. It kind of feels like every single way that I look, this 0.5 looks so dope. Okay, I gotta switch to some of the other lenses. I'm getting too excited about this like super wide angle. So the wide looks really good. This blue hour looks amazing right now. That's kind of different. All right. Oh, wow, this looks dope. Like, wow, the raw plus looks incredible on this. Wow. Okay, let's test out this like three times or it's two. I feel like the two times here. Whoa, that looks sick. Wow. The lights are just coming together so nicely. The three times looks amazing. Oh, this blue hour is incredible. I'm <laughs> that sounds so basic. Wow, amazing. Oh, this is incredible. It really is just so cool. The city is so easy to shoot. I'm obsessed with the X-Pen on this. Oh yeah, that's, that's it, that looks sick. Wow. It literally looks like a cinematic frame right there. I'm pumped, okay, I'm really happy with this location. All right, let's switch to another one. Try to see what it looks like when you're just moving to. The food looks so good. Whoa, this looks so sick. Okay, so we are in Nangnamung Street and uh, we're gonna try to see if we can see any cool lights that we can like take photos of. I feel like I'm gonna end up using the, uh, the three times a lot here. Oh yeah, these neon lights look so good. Wow, I am so friggin' stoked to be in Korea. The six times look so good. Just these lights. Ugh. Stoked. Stoked. Okay, so I've been shooting on Oboe phones for the last three years. I have always loved their color and the quality. And 
Every year I'm constantly impressed, especially in low light. They've just been one of those phones that just handles so well. Everything here in Korea looks so cinematic. I am so stoked. Okay, let's see if this uh, this works with the six times. So up here, there's just somebody in the window, kind of like either dancing or they're doing something, but that looks like, that looks awesome. That looks so cool. The edit on this will be amazing. Okay, person's gone, we, we got something. Whoa, whoa. Let's see if we can do like a portrait. Do like a wide portrait. The refresh rate on the portrait mode is amazing. So you can switch from JPEG to RAW and then RAW plus. And then you're also getting 10 bit photos. And then you can just get these incredible images. There's the macro shot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So oh, look at that. We're gonna test out night mode right now on this building. Oh wait, I feel like a long exposure here will look sick. Night mode. Long exposure. Try to see if we can get some of these streaks. Cool. Okay, so we kind of just lucked out. We're on the top of a parking garage. We have this incredible car. It's clean and we have the perfect lighting. Now we did shoot earlier when it was really harsh and the phone like handled it really, really well. We had like crazy dynamic range crazy highlights, but now all the light is really even. And I think this is the chance where like, especially we get into post-production with this 10 bit, it's gonna look so good. So we are on the two times right now and that is just looking, oh, that's looking so good. Okay, I actually really like using portrait mode to shoot car stuff. Oh, I love that the way this is framing up here. Right there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah, the one times on this looks crazy good especially with the portrait mode it's always nice to just explore the car see what we can kind of capture maybe there's some details that we don't really know about and we can actually even get in on this like macro here that looks so cool oh you know what i'm feeling right now i feel like x pan is gonna look absolutely stunning here so we're going to more go into this x pan feature i'm i'm freaking stoked this is gonna look so good peter can i get you to go over there and just like walk in and walk Whoa, dude, so sick. Yeah, I feel like this X-Pan looks really dope. Oh yeah, that compression just looks so good. <laughs> we can go into three times, just get a bit more detail. I would just crop in the front of the car there. And last shot with the two times. Cool, and walk out of frame. Boom, done. Sick, happy with that. We just climbed to the top here. And we have this stunning view. <laughs> okay, maybe six times. Yeah, that looks amazing. I'm starting to get this like blue hour right now, which looks so good. Look at these lights coming on. Okay, actually, why don't we test out like night mode? See what that looks like. Two times is looking really good. Mmm, looks so nice. Okay, I think I'm happy up here. Successful little night mission. That worked out well. 
And that's it for Seoul, South Korea. Leave the time code for your favorite photos in the comment section below and I will be giving away my presets to three random people. A big shout out to Oppo. Thank you so much for being a massive sponsor of this channel for the last three years. If you guys wanna find out more about the N3 Fold, I will leave that in the description below. If you guys like these videos, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And let me know if you would like to see any more of this style of video. Thank you so much.